Hey everyone, I wanted to talk about something that's been weighing on my heart. Something that I see happening in church and outside of church. Uh, it's kind of happening to a lot of people and it it's concerning me because it's exactly what Jesus said would happen in the end times. And when you hear end times, I don't want you to think necessarily uh, the apocalypse or nukes coming down or tanks rolling in or civil war, the things like that. I, what I want you to think about is times right before Jesus would come back to the earth and Jesus would rapture the church to heaven with him. That's what I want you to think about when you hear the term end times because that's how the Bible refers to the term end times. The times right before Jesus would come back. And uh, the Bible does say that there would be wars and rumors of war, pestilence, disease, and all of these things would happen. And and he said, Matthew 24 is, is a big one. He said, when you see these things begin begin to take place, look up for your redemption draws near. But I wanted to talk about one that's a little bit more subtle, but I think it's it's a huge thing that's happening in, in the church and outside of the church. And it was even happening in my own heart and I didn't even realize it. And it's this, Jesus said in the end times, again, the days right before Jesus was to come back, he said, because lawlessness will abound, the hearts of many would grow cold. Let me say that again. He said, because lawlessness would, would abound, the hearts of many would grow cold. And folks, if you haven't realized it yet, lawlessness is abounding. If you have been watching the news, you have been seeing mass shootings over and over again. Um, you have, there is a recent case of Jeffrey Epstein, who supposedly committed suicide. This man who was a child sex trafficker for these billionaires and these people who made tons of money and right when he was about to testify and probably bring many more people to justice these evil men who have power and money and, and whoever he supposedly committed suicide and I don't want to get into conspiracy theories but the point is uh, we're probably in this earth in this time God's going to deal with them eventually in heaven these people are not going to get away but in this time we're probably not going to see justice to many of these people because of this supposed suicide there was some recent stabbings in the past couple weeks just there there's all of this stuff happening and uh even more and listen to me here you've probably experienced this I have been hurt by people, but listen, I have also hurt other people. And I believe what's happening in the church, because Jesus said it would happen, and outside of the church, lawlessness is abounding. People are getting away with evil things, and people are doing evil things. And so the tendency for Christians, listen, is to shut down. I like what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13. He said, look, you can give your body to be burned. You can give to the poor. You can do all of this religious things. But if you do not have love, you become as a clanging symbol. You become, as the Bible puts it, annoying. You become annoying. Um, you become useless to the kingdom of God. And so... If you have been hurt, which you probably have, if you live in this world and you choose to love people, listen, you have probably been hurt. Because that's what happens when you open yourself up to, to love. It makes you vulnerable. And so my encouragement to you is to watch out for that problem of becoming cold and callous to those around you. Because the moment that happens, you need to realize you have become in effect. Listen, the moment you stop loving people is the moment you have become completely, according to the Bible, ineffective for the kingdom of God. And that's exactly where Satan wants you to be. We are not to love 
because people are lovely. Listen, we live in a we live in a pretty rotten world right now. We live in a world of of callousness, of 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 lawlessness. We are not to love because people in the church are lovely. We are not to love because our friends are lovely. I mean, a lot of a lot of times we're we're not. The Bible says we love because God first loved us. Listen, church, we need to get back to that point of of love because Jesus Christ is love incarnate. We, we are to love because God, who is love, not God does love, but God is love incarnate, came to this world, lived a perfect life as God, 100% man, 100% God, lived a perfect life, completed the law so that you and me could go to heaven and so that anybody who would call on the name of the Lord would be saved. Died a horrific death upon a Roman cross. The worst way to torture people that humans have ever created, Roman crucifixion. The Romans didn't invent crucifixion, but they perfected it. Jesus was mocked. He was beaten. He was left alone. He was buried, proven that he was actually dead. And then the Bible says he rose again the third day because he was justified, because he was God. And that proved not only that we are forgiven of our sins if we call out to Christ right now and repent of our sins, but it also proved that God loved us. Us, you're like, how do I know God loved me? The cross, which is historically proven. Listen, guys, if we are ever going to see a, an awakening, a revival, if we are if we are going to see life come back into the church and see the church impact our community, we need to realize that we have to love, even though it makes us vulnerable. And again, not because people are lovely, but because Jesus first loved us. And I wanted to share this with you because I'm going through the same, the same deal. Listen, guys, I don't want to love anymore. I'm tired. I'm hurt. I'm fatigued. It's just annoying. Every time you love, you seem to get stabbed. But in reality, I've, I've also hurt people. And right now I'm saying I am choosing to continue to love and do what's right and stand up for righteousness despite all of my past mistakes, despite all of the people who have hurt me because Jesus bled and he died and he was buried and he rose again the third day for me and for you. And I hope you will do the same. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll see a change in our city and our country. Anyways, thanks for watching.